Okay, guys, so I'm making a video right now. So, anyways, guys, just a suggestion of where I should hang my original. Well, I was hanging my room, but there's always a fan up there. And, here we go. This thing is like, so heavy. Like, I'm not joking. Here, I'll show you. Okay, guys. Let me show you. Like, oh, look, guys. Like, I can't just pick it up. Like, this is how far I can pick this thing up. Like, this thing is so heavy. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> Mm, yep, okay. So, yeah, guys. That's that. That's how heavy this fan is. Same thing exactly, and that fan's heavy as well. Plus, something bad happened to this fan. Like, it's already broken. I don't know what to do. Wait, it's not broken. It's just... Uh, up, but however, yeah, I'll fix that later. But, yeah, any suggestions where I should put on my Hunter original? Caution, blades must be at least seven feet from the floor, and that must be Spanish. Yeah. And yeah, we got the Hunter tag on this fan. So, yep. Hunter was made in Memphis, Tennessee, since 1886, 1866, I was thinking of something else, however. Santos since 1886. The fan company. As you may see. So it's so dark in here. I only have a flashlight on this iPad. But as you guys may notice, it says Hunter. And it's still 1997 and there's a serial number. Well, you guys can't see it, but you may know it's the same thing. And it says Hunter right there. So, anyway. Yeah, right. To be honest, these guys, this does not came with a U bracket, and I'm still looking for one. So if you guys have any, like, spare U bracket, I would be happy to have one. If you guys have any of them for my original, and you have, here's the oil hole. That's where you add the oil, zoom spout, and yeah. And then this is like some one wild sand. Spin on the bottom. Yep. And it's hooked. And this is the best fan I have in the collection. I'm so happy I have one of these. I actually don't know what I would do if I did not have one of these original. I would be upset if one of the and did not give me one of these. He gave me that fan for you, which made me very happy. So I deserve it. And yes, guys, here's the blades for my original right here. God, it would be a disaster if I stepped on these. Like, step on that and like, break it. I'm not gonna do it, but yeah, it would be a disaster. Yeah, very honorary blades. Yeah, I just wanna take a last look. And yes, guys, these blades are not versatile. There's the back of them. You know, most Hunter fans, because these blades are like the squarish part of these old Hunter fans, or the stiff blades. Again, yeah, you guys, guys, this one is not versatile. This fan does not have versatile blades. Uh, imagine someone doing a makeover on this fan. Really. So yeah, here's my other fan. But yeah, but, yeah. I, mean, I do have screws for blades. Do my closet right here. It's a little bit dark in here, but oh, oh god. In the screws. Oh, in this bag. Here's everything that came with my original. Did not came with a U bracket though. But one thing that they came with is a hangle ball. See the hangle thing? What you call it? This is the hangle ball. Right here. So, what you do to clean it up, it's why it's in the way. What you want to do is when you were in front of your hand, it hangs. It's 
not easy doing. Oh, I just got a lot of from like solo again. Oh, let's really do it. There we go. I see Ghost Wagon Dale when installing the fan. So, if I were to install it, then you know what's going to happen. Uh, where did that bed go out? Well, Anyways guys, I don't know how many of this is one hand on camera. Camera down guys. Listen, tell us what I'll be here I'm using an iPad. But anyways, I do plan to get this installed one day. Well you guys have a new one. That would be lovely. You guys have any extra spare you buddies. And this is the plan that I've been wanting to install the fan since this bedroom right here. If you look up there guys, that's a light fixture. I actually want to replace it with my Hunter original. Which is right over here. Here's my Hunter original guys. And I'd like to put it up in this room right over here where this light fixture is that's where i want to put it up and i got two more fans right here the kitchen storm mantle and then the warm puzzle yeah i got another fan sound scales dad is name stays huggle from mama copy of the whole zombie kitchen and a white copy dad yeah here's another fan right here Cool. But I also would love to install. Careful. Yep, pretty cool. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be installing the original in my parents' bedroom. That's why I want to install it. I'm assuming it's kind of loud. Like, you know, like look. See, look, I'm like on the bed right now. Yeah, so it was a mess. The bed's not made. But yeah, you guys can see this is how old this one is. And then here's the light fixture right here. And it's very heavy. I can feel like it's heavy. It's very, it's like that's heavy glass. I mean, that fall down and then that breaks really hard. Probably cut me too, but how will I do that? And the lights on the other so it should be safe. And yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this. And you know what? I always plan to put a weed and a banner up here. That's what I want to do. There's no problem. I really want to put a fan up here. Exhaust fan too. Just not so much. Really cool vintage lighting. That's really cool. It's kind of loose. And yeah, two candle light bulbs. As you can see, we'll shut that off. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh my god, the videos got a little bit darker. What the heck? It's weird. My video just got a little darker. That is so freaky. Well, yeah, I didn't do the light, so I can't do it. But it's just so freaky. I just got dark like that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys have extra U brackets for my original so getting started. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and bye.